Destiny. You can call me Future Nurse Destiny. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a supply haul. There is going to be a ton of supplies in this haul, but to help you out, I'm going to be splitting it up into sections. So those sections are uniforms and clothes, backpack and clinical bag, books, electronics, and then just kind of like a miscellaneous everything else. If you are more interested in a specific section, I will have a comment down below that will be pinned for me that will have times that you can click on that will bring you directly to that section. I will try to link every item below in the description bar. And if you haven't yet, make sure you go watch my Welcome to My Story video. It's definitely a really good introduction so you can get to know me better. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So in the first section we have uniforms and clothes. So my school required us to order one scrub top and one scrub bottom, and then it was optional to order additional ones if you would like. I ordered two scrub tops and two scrub bottoms, and then there was also an optional scrub jacket that you could order, but I ordered it and it came in and it was just a completely different blue than our uniforms. So I ended up returning the item, and I have something even better that I'll show you in just a second. So I'm wearing a set now, so this is the scrub top, and this is the ladies cut. I'm not sure what it's called specifically, but this one is for the women. It just looks like this. And the brand of our uniforms is Meredith's Uniform. And I believe you have to be a student of a Meredith school to be able to order them online. But these ones are really nice because they do come with these sleeve inserts that just look like this. And next are the pants. They just look like this. Pretty typical scrub pants. But I do want to point out that I really like their bottoms because the back has like this elastic stretch band. And then the front, you can tie it tighter. So it gives you like the perfect fit where it's not suffocating you all day. But then it's also tight enough to hold them up. Next up, I just have some white scrub undershirts. They are from the brand Natural Uniforms, and I just plan to wear these underneath my scrubs so that I don't get cold in the hospital setting or in class. I got these from Amazon, and they came in a set of five. So I won't be able to wear this to clinical because our school requires us to wear that scrub jacket specifically. But again, it just didn't match and it was going to bug me, so I ended up returning it. And I ended up finding this jacket on Etsy, and I'll have it linked down below. So it just looks like this. It's this nice pretty white. It's an athletic material on the outside, but the inside is a nice warm fleece. And as you can see, I have it embroidered to say at Future Nurse Destiny, and underneath it, it has a pink stethoscope. Next up, I have some compression socks. So I got these compression socks on Amazon, and it actually came in a set of eight. So it came with four white and four black. But my school requires us to wear white socks, so I picked up this set and I'm only going to be using the white out of it. I'm not going to lie, these aren't my favorite compression socks because they are a little bit scratchy. However, they do the job and I'm going to just use these until I can get some more. And next I have shoes. Also, by the way, I got these little bins at Hobby Lobby and then I have a Cricut, so I just put the compression socks and shoes on the front of them. So I know these are a little controversial, but I haven't had Crocs since like middle school and I definitely wanted to get a pair. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to wear these to clinical um, or class if we're in uniform or anything like that, but I did want them so that I could wear them maybe to clinical or to class and then take them off and put on my actual nursing shoes in the car. So I just picked up these white Crocs. So these are the shoes that I got for nursing school and they are the Nursemates Align Velocity in the color white. And I will be touching the bottom of these, but I promise you I have not worn them in the hospital setting or really at all. And once I do, I will not be touching the bottom. So one thing that I really love about these shoes is that they look like a normal tennis shoe. And they also have a really good orthotic sole. So I have a really high arch on my foot. And sometimes shoes get really uncomfortable for me because I can't have a flat sole. So I really like the way that these fit on my feet. Another thing that I really love about them is that they are slip-on. However, Nursemates does provide actual shoelaces if you'd like to use those instead. My school requires us to have white shoes, closed-toed, leather, no mesh or holes, pretty much the basic nursing school shoes. So these are the ones that I picked out. So last in this section is clothes. And you guys are going to laugh at both of these because I messed both of them up. So this is the first one and it is just my nursing school acceptance announcement shirt and it just says future nurse and I made this one myself. I have a Cricut and this is just a comfort color shirt but I guess you're supposed to wash it first because the red kind of bled into my vinyl. So it looks a little silly but I'm still going to wear it and this one is even funnier. So it says I can't, I'm in nursing school and hopefully you can see this. Yeah, so I must have left my iron on there a little bit too long um, because there's a huge iron mark on here. But that's okay because I did pick up two more comfort color shirts, which are these purple and blue colors. And I will be putting some new vinyl on there. So in this section, I'll be showing you my backpack and my clinical bag. So this is my backpack that I'm going to be using this year. So this is actually a rolling backpack. 
So as you can see here, these are the wheels. And right up here at the top, there's a zipper that you unzip and it reveals the handle. And it's pretty tall, but I like that it conceals it. I've heard so many nursing students and recent graduates say that they wish they would have had a rolling backpack. That is why I ended up getting one. So one thing that I really love about this backpack is that you're actually able to turn it into a regular backpack. So if you have a really light day one day and you don't necessarily need the rolling part of it because you're not carrying all your books and you have an exam and you just need your pencil bag or something like that, you can actually pull the straps out of this little pocket right here and you can hook the strap to this ring and then it becomes a backpack. So I really like that feature of it because sometimes I'm not gonna need the rolling part of the bag, but I do love how much this bag is able to store. So as you can see, there are multiple pockets. It's literally huge, looks like I just gave birth. Right here's a little pouch that you can put your laptop. I put my iPad in this pouch, and my Apple Pencil actually fits as well. There are two little water bottle pockets on the side, and yeah, I'm super excited to use this. I will be using regular books as well as digital books this year, so depending on how I feel that day, I might not need the extra space but I like having the option. Next up is just a little item that I wanted to include as well, and this is my pencil bag. I got this from Etsy. It's pretty small, but it does carry quite a bit of things in here. And of course, it has my monogram on it. So this is my clinical bag, and I got this on Etsy as well, and as you can see, I got it monogrammed, and I have a pink stethoscope around it. So my color scheme for this year is like navy blue and pink. And I really like this bag because it has tons of pockets, and the inside is really big. Something that is really cool about this clinical bag is that it actually comes with a matching lunchbox. So it has this front pocket, and then the inside is insulated. So I'm super excited to use this for clinical. <laughs> So in this section, I'm going to be showing you my books. Now I know books can be kind of boring, but I will be showing you some NCLEX prep books, as well as the textbook that were required for my nursing school, and some other helpful resources that I found. So first I'm going to start with NCLEX prep. So I have heard from many nursing students and recent grads that they wish they would have started studying for the NCLEX earlier, so I wanted to get a head start. So I have these Saunders Q&A NCLEX review cards. I have the Saunders Strategies for Test Success book. It kind of gives you an inside look at how the NCLEX questions are written, which will also help you succeed in nursing school. So I highly recommend this book. And of course, the one and only Comprehensive Review by Saunders. Next, I'm gonna be showing you the books that were required for my nursing school. So for pharmacology, this summer, we actually were required to get pharmacology in the nursing process, and I got this study guide. It was optional. If you're the type of person that needs extra review questions, definitely see if your books have a study guide to go with them. And I know you guys can see this pretty little tabbing going on. I'm going to create a video soon. So this fall, I'll be taking Fundamentals of Nursing and Health Assessment and Promotion. So for Health Assessment, we needed this Jarvis set, a pocket companion, the study guide and laboratory manual, and the textbook. So for Fundamentals, we actually needed this publication manual. And this is basically just helpful tips on how to create a really good journal article. And this is my funds textbook and study guide. And again, I am not kidding. You are going to want the study guide for your class. I've had an instructor that has pulled questions from these study guides. So there's just a helpful tip for you. And last are just some helpful resources that you can use to succeed in nursing school. So first are these Mosby's Pharmacology note cards. And they are basically cute little stories, cute little cartoons that help you memorize the drugs. I also picked up this Merriam-Webster's Medical Dictionary. So there's actually a textbook that goes with this clinical companion book, but a nursing student that is in her second year in my program told me that this book is super helpful for clinical. So if you have a patient that's struggling with kidney disease, it tells you everything you need to know about kidney disease as well as the clinical manifestations, diagnostic studies, etc. And then of course, you need a drug guide in nursing school. So I have the Davis's Drug Guide, and this is the brand new edition that came out in June. And last in this section is this Nursing Care Plans book. So I actually saw a TikTok that said that this book is extremely helpful for clinical, where it basically takes you through an entire care plan. So I'm excited to use this book for clinical. So I'm also gonna include my planners and accessories in this section because they're technically books as well. So first of all, I will be doing a bunch more videos on my planning process. And this year I will be using two planners to keep track of my life. The first one is my academic planner. And the second one is new for me this year and this is the daily duo planner. So it is an hourly planner. So it comes with two and this one will start in January and this one starts in July. And then I'm just gonna add these stickers in here because I think these are super cool and important. So I actually ordered the customizable stickers to match my course codes so that I could use these stickers directly in my hourly planner so that I don't have to write out fundamentals of nursing each time. I have office hours, study group, final, open lab, and clinical. And they normally come on a big sheet. I just cut mine up so that it could fit in my little sticker book. Okay, let's move on to the next section. 
All right, y'all, so we are almost there. So now I'm gonna be walking you through some of my electronics. So first up is kind of an essential. So this is a portable massager. You can take this when you're studying at the library. This is just a fun little essential if you want it. Next up is this super cute alarm clock that I got. It has a USB port on the back, so you can charge your phone. And you can also turn the brightness all the way up or you can turn it all the way down. So if you're really sensitive to light at night and you're not very good with like night lights, you can turn the brightness pretty much all the way down. I'm excited to use this because sometimes I have trouble waking up to my phone alarm. Okay, next up is my floor lamp that I'm using for a study lamp. And I'm currently using it for lighting, so the lighting is going to get a little weird for a second. So this is the lamp that I am going to be using for my desk this year. It just looks like this. It has a remote control feature on the actual lamp. And the thing that's super cool about it is it actually comes with a remote. You can turn the brightness to 20% to 100%. Warm color, a mix or cool. You can also turn a nightlight on. And there's also timers on here as well. I'm super excited to use this lamp. Next up is just a little four function calculator. I'm gonna need this because all of our exams have dosage calculation on them. And we're only allowed to have a four function calculator for it. And I have a little second hand watch here. This is from Amazon and I'll be using this for clinical. So next up, I have all of my Apple products. First, I have my phone. Obviously, this is my iPhone 7 Plus. I have the Apple Pencil. This is the first generation, as well as my iPad. I have like the first generation AirPod, and I have the third generation Apple Watch. And then I have my MacBook Air 13 inch. So those are all the electronics that I wanna share with you. All right, y'all, we are in the last section. So these are just regular school supplies, and I'm really just gonna be picking up random things and showing them to you. So first of all are my blue light blocking glasses, and I absolutely love these things. I have two like leopard print ones, I have a black pair, and I have a pink pair. So when you put them on, they look like this, and yeah, they're really good to protect your eyes, especially if you're studying late at night with your computer screen being really bright. Next up, I just have a regular college essential in general, which is an umbrella, and I actually got this at Hobby Lobby on sale. So if you need an umbrella, go to Hobby Lobby. Okay, so next up is like little desk things. So first of all, I got this little desk stand from Erin Condren. If you can see, I can put my phone here, and a charger actually goes through um, this hole, and you can charge your phone while it's on the stand. And it also has a section for to-do lists, and you just use a wet erase marker to write down your to-do list, and then you can keep up with your tasks for the day. So this is a book stand that you can use for your desk, but it just looks like this, and then you can use these to put your book right in here. You can set this on your desk, that way it takes up less space, so you can have your laptop close to underneath it, and you can also keep little school supplies under here as well. All right, next up I have flashcards, so I got this little box of two by threes, comes with a thousand of them and it also comes with rings. I like these because you can create your own study sets. So if you're taking pharmacology, I highly recommend these. I would put the drug class on the front and the drugs on the back. So I just have some regular flashcards. I have two packs of ruled big ones and a pack of small ones. And then I got this box at Walmart. And I just have some blank flashcards in here. I started to create pharmacology flashcards, but I really didn't learn best that way. I know a lot of people do but I had trouble making them, so I didn't end up using this, but I know I'll use this in the future. So a new favorite find this year are erasable pens. I did not know that I needed these until I got them and have been using them. Next up, I have some whiteboard care wipes. I got these foam earplugs, and I've seen some nursing students recommend these for exams and stuff. I have used these already for my pharmacology class, and I didn't realize how much these would help me. So if you get bothered by noise during exams, definitely pick up some earplugs. Okay, next up I have a plethora of stickies. It has document first aid, and they're little band-aids and ointment stickies. I have a bunch of post-it note brand sticky tabs. I also got these ones from Amazon, and they are just little arrow ones, as well as little rectangle ones so that I can mark up my textbooks. And then I got a bunch of regular sticky notes but these ones are actually lined which I prefer and then I got some bigger lined ones as well and I like using both of these for my textbooks and then another Erin Condren item are these little list pads I like creating to-do lists on these and these match my planner next up I have some water bottles all of them as you will see have this little rubber boot on the bottom I have a lot and the coffee mug. So the travel mug is the 16 ounce Voyager and all of them except for the white one have future nurse on the front and my name on the back. If you have a water bottle that is metal like this, try to get a boot for it. You clank it down on a desk. If you have the rubber boot on it, it doesn't make a big loud noise. Definitely help in the classroom. Also pro tip, put your name on your water bottle. This is a really awesome tip because it'll help your instructors get to know your name 
quicker. So I have this one. Now, all of them have different lids that are interchangeable. So I have a bigger version of this one and I have this huge one for like really long study days at the library. I have this lint roller because these uniforms pick up lint like it is nobody's business and I want to look as professional as possible. And next I have some clinical supplies. So I have this little scrub pocket organizer with some big scissors and a couple of pin lights. I have a badge reel that says Destiny. I have a mini Sharpie attached to this, as well as a pin and a highlighter. And I got these little cards from, these are the Nurse Nation set. So you can get these on Amazon. These are just really helpful for clinical to help you remember lab values, help you with EKGs and things like that. I'm just gonna quickly walk you through all of the badge reels that I have. So I have this little shot. I have this little colon with poop on it. I have a Band-Aid. I have a uterus, brain part and this little flower one. Next up is a pretty typical supply in a nursing school supply haul, but this is a foldable clipboard and I just have my name on it with a stethoscope and it has a bunch of lab values and helpful things for the clinical setting. I got these two journals. These are the Exceed brand. I have a big one and a small one. Next, these are from Prestige Medical. These were required for my lab. They are not the cutest, but I had to get them. So these are what they look like. Okay, next up I have this stethoscope case and it has my name and a stethoscope on it. When you open it up, it looks like this. So I have my Lipman Classic 2 stethoscope here and I have scissors and hemostats, pin lights, and some more scissors. And I quickly want to mention that this is the raspberry tubing for the Lipman. I was able to get it engraved with my name. I've had this stethoscope for years. And then I have the matching stethoscope tag to my badge reel. And then I just have a pretty basic black blood pressure cuff. All right, y'all, we are on the last couple of things. So I am a huge fan of whiteboards, and I have two here that I'm going to show you. This first one is just a really small one. You can get these at Walmart, probably Target. You can really get these anywhere. But just any kind of whiteboard is going to be beneficial for you. But I did pick up this really big one from Hobby Lobby, and I've been using it this summer for pharmacology. It has helped me so much in my class so far. And I'm going to insert a clip here to show you how I hang up my whiteboard. So I basically have it hung up where I can keep it up tall so I can stand and write on it. But I also have some nails in my wall where I can hang it low. That way I can sit on the floor and write on it as well. Okay everybody, so those are all the school supplies that I got for nursing school this year. If this helped you out, make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know. I'm so sorry if this video is long, but I hope it was helpful. If you'd like to continue to follow my journey, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos that I post. Also make sure you hit that like button if you liked this video, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!